What's going on, Anaba fans? Ah, Brad here from Anabasis. Just got some new, sweet new gear. Just gonna do a little unboxing here. We got some JBL MK2 powered studio monitors. Because half of the band members are amateur, or amateur, yeah, amateur recording and mixing engineers. And this is the kind of stuff that we use for our pre-production and our demoing to get our shitty ideas out to listen to. Maybe someday we'll be good enough to produce our own stuff, but until then, we just waste a bunch of money on this stuff and pretend that we're learning. Let's see how these bad boys look. Got a little instructiones, quick setup guide. I don't even know which size these ones are. Hmm. We'll find out. Some cardboard. Throw away. Don't eat it. That's some bad stuff. All right, I gotta set the phone down. Hold on. Oh yeah. Oh, look at these beauties. Hell yeah. Of course, ordered these from the one and only Sweetwater. Because if you are anyone who knows anything about gear, those are the guys to get it from. It's got its own onboard boundary EQ, high frequency trim. Man, this thing's gonna be awesome. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this video now. Get down in the the home studio, get these things set up, and see how they sound. Hello there, children. So we're down here in the home studio. Just got the new JBLs hooked up, and let me tell you, the difference is massive. So a little situational background here, some context. I was using these guys, these M Audios, four inches. Um, they were on loan <clears throat> from our drummer Dave, because uh, he's the one that kind of he got me started on trying to be a home producer. And the problem was those speakers were so small that I couldn't hear a lot of the low end frequencies that were in my mixes. So then when I would listen to them in better speakers, like in my car or a powered monitor or something like that, <clears throat> there'd be all these low-end frequencies that were just stomping on everything else in the mix. And we finally, through talking to our bass player AJ, discovered that it was because my mixing speakers were just too small to push out those frequencies. So that was the reason for the upgrade. Um, quick little rundown here. Using my Line 6 Helix LT as an interface, which we also use for our live sets. We do all of our mixing and pre-production in Logic Pro 10, and obviously we got the JBLs going. So, I don't know how well this is going to translate through a phone video, but this is a little sneak peek of some newer stuff that we're working on. You probably can't hear that well through the phone speakers or the phone microphone rather but um, I'm finally hearing in the studio what I was hearing in my car which is gonna alleviate a lot of uh, stress of the unknown uh, one last thing here we got some tickets we're playing we're playing direct support for Nea Bliviscaris on October 11th at the Lost Horizon in Syracuse uh, tickets are 15 bucks a piece if you've never heard of them, you should definitely check them out. They're really, really insane. That's the spelling right there. It's Latin for something, I forget. I looked it up once. Um, so if you need tickets, you can hit up any of the band members or just uh, go right to the Anabasis Facebook and you can purchase them online. Also, you can take a look at any of our merch online. Uh, we've got a few t-shirts and a couple other things. So take a look at that and... Uh, 
Yeah, I'll follow up with any more new gear updates because they seem to happen frequently. So, cheers. 